Have this feeling, feeling Haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or oh, welcome back if you've been here before. Welcome to another vlog from Paris, another luxury shopping vlog. I also did film travel vlogs um, that covered like the entire trip, not just like luxury shopping, but of course uh, when in Paris, why not check out all the department stores and luxury boutiques and flagship boutiques and all that. So I'm currently in front of Samaritan. This vlog will definitely cover footage that I got at the Samaritan department store, but also Galerie Lafayette and yeah, some standalone boutiques. Um, I'm just going to group them together by brand, I think. So yeah, fingers crossed uh, the editing process won't be a nightmare, but even if it is, it will definitely be worth it. So anyway, behind me is uh, the Louis Vuitton, uh, not boutique, I think it's their headquarters. Um, at Pont Neuf and uh, you still have the giant Kusama back there and uh, also on the corner there is the entrance to the Louis Vuitton dream exhibition that we checked out on Friday today is Monday by the way anyway so um yeah I'm about to head in and hope you enjoyed today's video consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up and let's go Alright, so with this being a Paris vlog, why not kick it off with the two French brands, that being Celine and also Moana. I went into the Moana boutique, which is pretty much like next to the Louis Vuitton plus Vendôme boutique, but also checked out their fairly sizable selection inside Galerie Lafayette. And in the second half of the video, we're going to cover Bulgari and Fendi. And I did see some really special pieces, so definitely stick around. And unsurprisingly, when it comes to Celine, there was a noticeable focus on anything that has the Triumph logo on it. These like oval shaped ones are so cute, but also these micro Triumph bags, so adorable, but geez, like the one with these Strauss crystals on the buckle has a hefty price tag, but also on the streets of Paris. I know a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that I hardly see anyone walk around with a Celine Triomphe bag. In Paris, on the other hand, I did come across quite a number of Celine Triomphe bags. By the way, this is a combination of the footage I got at the Celine concession in the Samaritan department store as well as Bon Marché. And especially inside the Bon Marché store, they had some really special pieces. And they also had the tennis collection, which in my understanding is like readily available online, but in store it's limited to a couple of stores worldwide. So yeah, really fun to check that out. And ah, the card holder was really tempting, but I already have a white card holder or like white and gray my Goya one. And I certainly don't need another card holder in my collection. So yeah, that was a pass, but um, yeah, the tennis collection is so cute. Like these frozen Alright, so next off, Moana. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I checked out both the Galerie Lafayette concession, but also their like flagship boutique, I guess. And the SA inside the boutique was so lovely. So let's first cut there. And I learned something really interesting about like the design decisions about their leather bags in particular. Uh, does it come with gold hardware as well? Yeah. This color, the top to red, comes only with the silver hardware. Oh, okay. Yes. Each color in Moana is unique. For example, the, uh, the black is come only with the gold color. Oh, so okay. the green is only the silver. So essentially, by the way, the bag that I'm trying on is the Gabrielle and I also tried on the Gabrielle Pochette, I think it's called. I'm going to insert the exact name and also pricing and everything. As with every bag or like the majority of the bags that I'm showing in this video, just for your reference and convenience. Anyway, so what the SA told me is that 
I mean, I looked at this like gray color bag. The exact color is called Gris Tourtourelle. I think that's also a color that's available at Hermes, but I'd imagine that the color is like an exact match. Anyway, so I looked at the gray, loved it, but it has silver hardware. So I was wondering like, does it come with gold hardware? And the SA was like, no, actually not. With every single leather color, the design team basically sits down and says, okay, which hardware do we want this leather color to come with? And that's it. So the Gabrielle in the Gris Tourtourelle color only comes with silver hardware and the Gabrielle in black only comes with gold, for instance. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. And I, I, I guess it kind of makes sense because the hardware color makes such a huge difference in how the bag looks. And if the design team is like, this leather color looks better with silver, silver it is. And yeah, that's what you have to live with. I feel like Bulgari has definitely stepped up their game when it comes to their leather goods, in particular their handbags over the last couple of years. Unfortunately, but I guess it's just part of the game. Their prices have also gone up mm, quite significantly, um, but still for the quality and the craftsmanship, attention to detail and like in general how the bags feel. And <laughs> I know I keep banging on about the scent, but Bulgari bags just smell divine. Even when I walk past our local Bulgari boutique, it's just... I can't really describe it. If you get the chance, just uh, smell a Bulgari bag and yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so the leather, the overall feel, also of course like the hardware on the bags is exquisite. You can definitely tell that Bulgari comes from like high jewelry making and of course that's still their bread and butter. But um, whereas with Cartier for instance, I feel like their leather goods are kind of like a side thing and probably like money grab. I think Bulgari has done an exceptional job at um, really establishing themselves in the handbag space. And the handbag selection goes way past the like classic Serpenti Forever line, although I do have a soft spot for that line because I own a creamy beige one and I know I have to film like a wear and tear update and review and what fits inside of that. As with a couple of other bags in my collection, I promise I'm going to get around to filming review videos eventually, but uh, not the point of today's video. Anyway, so yeah, of course they have like their Serpenti Forever line. They also have the Serpenti Forever bags with the top handle, which are also super cute, but they've also incorporated more like edgy designs, more like modern ones. For example, the Cabuchon line, which is a little more puffy, kind of reminds me of the Chanel 19, but also the Serpentine pouch in different sizes, which is kind of like reminiscent of the the Bottega pouch or like the Fendi first. Their selection is amazing. And if you're really into exotic leathers like water snake, but also like Python and everything, their selection and the colors that they're able to produce just top notch. And also, although take my like comment with a grain of salt because I'm not like overly informed when it comes to like exotic leather prices, I feel like the prices for their exotic leather bags are quite reasonable, but um, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong or um, correct me if my perception is a little off. But anyway, can't rate Bulgari bags highly enough. And yes, they did have price increases, but I feel like their prices are still for what you get in these like exquisite bags and the service and everything. I still think that they are worth the money. And to round up this video, let's check out some Fendi pieces. So I went into the Fendi boutique on Avenue Montaigne, but also checked out their selection inside Galerie Lafayette and I came across some spectacular pieces. But yeah, first off, let's check out the selection at the Fendi boutique and they did have quite a number of Fendi first. And I don't know for how long exactly the midi size of the Fendi first has been out, but I think it's the first time that I saw it like in person. and. 
In my opinion, that launch was well overdue because while the small size does fit quite a bit, it's still, I mean, it's a small bag and the old medium or like the larger size available was very chunky and bulky. So the midi size is perfect. And talk about perfect, look at that beautiful shade of green. I think the SA that I worked with inside the boutique um, said it was called matcha green, but on the website, the color was called light green. So yeah, we're gonna go with light green. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon is the sun, we don't care about the other. I just want I also came across these like phone pouches. Uh, they come in patent leather and also like a, not silk, but a silky material. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, Cassie Thorpe got gifted one of those when she was invited to the Fendi show. Anyway, the sunnies were amazing as well, but knowing my track record when it comes to sunglasses that are not fully black, I should probably stay away from this like caramel shade. So now for Galerie Lafayette, and I'm kind of at a loss for words. These patent leather boots are 1400 euros, which is insane. Talking about patent leather and quirky items, <laughs> the shade of brown is kind of questionable. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Then we have a very vibrant highlighter green mink uh, Fendi first, and also this one, which I wasn't able to find on the website. But yeah, I guess that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, also ring that little bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.